Hello guys, today I'm here to talk with you about a very important topic, okay? This topic is very important for decision making business, uh, in research uh, and in many other places, okay? And that is, what exactly is statistical significance, okay? Many people use this, uh, you know, in their decision making, uh, you know, in their co conclusions and they, they try to say, well, this result is not statistically significant or this finding or study is not statistically significant so what exactly is statistical significance okay let's break it down well statistical significance is really a concept or framework that helps us understand whether or not uh, a study's result or findings uh, is due to chance okay now what does that mean uh you know in, in other words a statistically significant conclusion is a conclusion that is very unlikely to just happen due to chance okay so in business decision making uh, you know in experimentation you know in analysis we often analyze not the entire population right we, we often analyze sample data you know when you experiment you you test on a sample and always you want to really understand can you generalize this finding to your overall population or not right and, and that's what we call statistical inference and i'm not going to go into the theory here but the most important thing is that statistical significance is really a concept that helps us mathematically quantify whether or not uh, you know a finding uh, or result is happening is happening uh, due to what coincidence okay now l l let me give you a very good example to actually uh, explain this Assuming that you run a marketing campaign and for one group, which let's call that a control group, group A, uh, you give them 25% of your purchases, okay? And then another group, you said uh, you have free return for any purchase that you made, okay? And now, you know, after you run your campaign for one month and you analyze the result, you've seen that the group that has 25% of your purchases, uh, they saw a sales per customer of hundred dollars okay and then the group that has uh basically the second offer which is free return on all your online purchases and then their average sales per customer or sales per buyer uh you know in this case was uh basically a hundred and two dollars okay so now one group has hundred dollars sales per customer Another group also has another hundred and two dollars sales per customer. You see that there is a two dollar difference. Well, you could say that in that two dollar difference is a, is an incremental uh, sales per customer. Okay, so for every customer that you include in your your study or in your experiment, uh, you know the ones that are in the group that receive free returns on all your online purchases, they will have a two dollar incremental uh, sales. Okay. The question is, is that result due to chance, due to coincidence, due to some luck? Maybe were you just lucky that group people that you selected in the group that received, uh, you know, the uh, free returns on all your purchases? Is it by chance that they have an average spend of $102, which is about $2 more than the other group that received only 25% of uh, purchase, right? So is that statistically significant so in an experimentation or in a study uh, you know you have conclusions like well this two dollar incrementality uh, is statistically significant okay what that means is that it is not likely that that is due to chance okay so that's just a way of an example okay the question here is what are the factors that affect statistical significance okay now i'm going to give you some three common factors number one sample size you see the larger the sample size, uh, the less likely it is that your finding is going to be due to chance because what? If you have a large sample size, then your sample size is a good representation of your population. Hence, the findings that you get from a large sample size, uh, you know, is less likely to be due to chance. Okay, so sample size is one big uh, factor that imparts statistical significance. Okay? Number two is basically data variability, okay? The variability in your data. In this case, 
standard deviation or variance okay how high your standard deviation in your data is also plays a very big role uh in in, in ensuring that your finding is due to chance or not right so for example if you have very high variability that means that you have a lot of noise in the data so in that case you know it is very likely to find or to get to conclusions that are not statistically significant due to the noise created by what the variability okay so data variability is the uh, the second factor that impacts statistical significance the third one is effect size okay what we call effect size is basically what is the difference between uh you know your test group and control group if it's an experiment or what is the what is the actual size of the difference you are you are seeing or the actual size of the effect you are seeing uh, in, in your analysis right basically the the bigger the effect size the easier it is to actually detect okay even giving relatively small sample but the smaller the effect size the harder it is to actually detect differences and hence you know you need more samples to 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 really uh you know detect any difference and even if those differences are statistically significant okay so we've mentioned three factors that impact statistical significance okay these are sample size variability in your data and finally the effect size okay so in a nutshell statistical significance basically is a way of understanding or evaluating whether a finding from a study or from an experiment or from some analysis or from a survey whether that finding is likely due to chance or not okay now if it's not likely due to chance then it means that it's most likely that this is a real effect that is happening uh, in your data okay so how do you know whether or not a result or conclusions from your study is statistically significant well number one you need to set up a threshold we call significance level okay what is significance level basically significance level is the probability that uh, you know an event occurrence is due to chance okay so you need to set up this significance level first by yourself before you even conduct your experiment or your research essentially your significance level is the maximum risk that you want to tolerate okay the, your maximum clearable risk of making what we call type 1 error i'm not going to go into details there in terms of technicalities but essentially it is just the probability or the risk we are taking uh, to make false positive conclusions so you need to set up your significance level first usually we set this level to be five percent and i have to do another video to really explain why people choose five percent but it is a common practice that you you see significance level to be five percent so that's number one okay so you set up this threshold okay then number two is you know most statistical softwares or analysis software will give you p-value okay so what is p-value p-value is essentially the observed probability uh, that the result that you are seeing or you know findings from your data the observed probability that they are due to chance okay so significance level you set it up you know you set that threshold up but p value is basically calculated for you okay so it is the probability that tells you how likely it is that the result that you saw or in your you know what happened in your study is actually uh, due to chance assuming no effect actually uh you know is there okay uh and and, and so that is the p-value so essentially if your p-value is less than your significance level then you conclude that your finding is statistically significant well you know technically if your p-value is less than the significance level you reject your non hypothesis so there's a whole concept called hypothesis testing which i would not go into but the idea here is that in order for you to establish that you know your finding is statistically significant you first need to set the threshold which we call significance level okay and then your software or your analysis will give you your p value okay so once you compare your p value to your significance level and the p value is lower then basically you conclude that your result is what statistically significant but here's the catch many people misuse statistical significance so i'm actually going to give you some warning to keep in mind okay 
statistical significance is not the same as what practical significance you may have a conclusion about a study or an experiment uh, that has statistical significance result but it may not be practically significant because maybe the size of the the change is so small that practical it doesn't really what mean anything so you have to analyze your results from many different angles do not just say yeah my data scientist said you know my result is statistical significance and so that's the end no you have to think about the business implications you have to think about cost and benefit before you even you know apply any learnings from what your statistical analysis that's number one number two result that is statistically significant does not also mean that this is certainly true all the time okay we are dealing with probabilities here and so if a result is statistically significant it only means that it is not likely due to chance okay that does not mean that 100 percent if you were to analyze again you will find the same result okay so statistical significance does not imply full certainty okay that's very important for us uh, to keep in mind okay the third one is that statistical significance does not mean that you know the result or the finding is important you know in life when we say something is significant or your significant other it's like something very important right but actually statistical significance has nothing to do with how important the finding is okay so make sure that you are not confusing statistical significance with how important your finding or your results are this is very important okay in a nutshell there are three warnings i've just given you on statistical significance and how to use them number one a result that is statistically significant does not mean it is most important or it is really big or the effect that you are measuring is big that's number one number two a result that is statistically significant does not necessarily mean that it is practically significant it is business significance okay if you have a 10 percent increase in spend per customer id to a marketing offer don't base your decision only on that statistical significance increase consider other factors like cost or other things right so analyze the result from what many different angles okay and finally statistical significance does not equate to certainty a result that is statistically significant does not mean that certainly this result is what you will see when you run this uh, you know analysis again and again on a different sample of course five percent significance level means that one out of 20 times the results can go wrong okay however statistical significance is very important for us in decision making it helps us make sure that we are not making random decisions or concluding on things that may be happening by chance so it is important that we use it properly okay and of course it is used in many different areas in business decision making in scientific research uh, you know in hypothesis testing in in a lot of things statistical significance it's very very important even in modeling relationships between one or two or three or more variables statistical significance can be used to quantify if the relationship is truly a real relationship or if it's due to chance okay even in evaluating ai models or okay like large language models when you take a sample you do some evaluation and you understand how it's working in fact in every statistical modeling ai model you know we look at parameters we look at coefficients and we look at statistical significance of those coefficients we look at their p-value so you use it in a lot of cases at the end of the day what is important is that we understand what it means in practice so that we don't overuse it or underuse it okay thank you very much